Hey, what's up, guys? All right, um, this is going to be a little bit unusual, but um, I'm used to talking about things that are unusual. Um, this is about what a product that I think Diamond Mind could have and probably still could develop that might save the game. What I'm talking about here is the creation of um, individual simulations, sort of scenarios. You ever remember playing SimCity? I'm not talking about like, uh, you know, uh, City Skylines or the, the abomination that EA Sports came out with a couple years ago. I mean, the old SimCity, the one from like 1990, 91 or so. I used to play it all the time, right? There was this thing where you could uh, get certain uh, scenarios you could play through and the scenarios would be like, oh, you're trying to um, keep track of, I don't remember what it was like, Dresden and, and World War II. You've got the city blowing up all around you and you're trying to like put out all the fires and stuff or you have Tokyo in 1951 and here comes Godzilla and you got to figure out how to save the city and stuff right stuff like that is fun people like that well it turns out that uh, Diamond Mine Baseball may have had the ability to do this so I'll show you this is an old uh, article that some of you probably know of I've known about this actually for um, quite some time this is about game seven of the 2003 ALCS now I'll be honest with you, I actually didn't watch the 2003 ALCS. I was um, away on a religious duty um, during that time. Um, I won't uh, bore you with more of those details because it doesn't fully uh, belong with uh, this channel. Um, having said that, I can tell you that um, I knew about what was happening, and uh, part of me really wished that I could sit there and watch that. Um, and um, I actually haven't had the time um, since uh, coming back all those years ago to uh, sit back and uh, re-watch the 2003 uh, postseason. Um, but uh, Game 7 of that 2003 ALCS, of course, is absolutely famous. That's the one um, where Pedro Martinez um, fell apart. And so they're talking here about how it was um, Nesson that uh, was asking about what could have happened if um, uh, they Grady Little had taken Pedro Martinez out of the game. Tom Tippett at the time thought this would be really interesting. And so what he did is he set up Diamond Mine Baseball in a way so that um, – they could uh, see what would happen with uh, different sort of uh, uh, renditions of the end of this game, right? So uh, what they did is they set up the two teams, the Yankees and the uh, Red Sox, with their 25-man rosters for that series. They entered in the pitch count data. Remember, in Diamond Mine, pitch count data is very important. Um, for game seven and for several games leading up to that game to realistically take fatigue into account according to how this simulation takes it into account. Is it realistic or not? I don't know because we don't know enough about how the simulation works, right? Um, and uh, set up the uh, situation exactly as it was when uh, uh, Grady went to the mound. Um, let's see here. Uh, three batters into the eighth inning. One run in with a runner on base and a potential tying run coming to the plate with one out, right? So the Red Sox are up by uh, two runs in the uh, bottom of the eighth inning with one out. Um so basically, they set this up so that they could go back to that moment in time and then simulate at the end of the game 100 times, right? And each of these times, Alan Embry is brought into the game to face Hideki Matsui with a 5-3 to three lead and runners on first. Might I just say that I really miss this era in baseball, right? I miss it when Matsui was playing for the Yankees instead of... Yeah, we won't talk about the Yankees today. Anyway, Boston held on to win 82% of the time, right? And as normal in historical comparison... 15 of the simulated 100 games went to extra innings. New York won 10, Boston won five of those. The most common final score is five to three for Boston, right? And then they, you know, Tom goes in here and does his um, uh, analysis and all this other stuff. I'm going to put in the uh, uh, the uh, link to this um, here in the description so you can um, see it. Interestingly enough, they did another 20 simulations with Pedro Sting in, to, in the game, and Boston won 15 of those. Um, which says that maybe Boston did have a chance of winning anyway and it didn't make that much of a difference. Maybe, maybe not. That might tell us more about Diamond Line Baseball than about anything else. But now we get to the point where, which is the point of this video, which is the idea behind this type of scenario in the simulation. If Diamond Mine Baseball were to come out with this sort of thing and have some sort of system in which you could set this up, it would be the first company to have set anything like this up ever. <laughs> I really mean that. Nobody has this. What does Diamond Mine have that OTP doesn't have? It, it, well, really kind of nothing, except maybe, you know, Diamond Mine is a little bit more transparent or at least easier to understand in terms of like error adjustments and stuff. But if it had this kind of system with sim with uh, scenarios where we could do something like this, that would be amazing, right? 
Let's, let me just pull one out right off the top of my head, right? This isn't even an in-game scenario. I'm talking about 1964. If you could go back through the 64 season and through Diamond Mind pay, I don't know, like five bucks and uh, get the 1964 Gene Mock Challenge, and you could take charge of the Phillies into, I don't remember when the collapse started, like late August or early September, and you have to manage the roster exactly the way that it was, and the guys have this amount of fatigue and so on and so forth, and actually be present, be presented with the, the uh, choices he had to make you could go through that season again without doing the full season replay and have all of your what if questions answered for you i mean i think it's a genius idea we could do this for so many different times in baseball history you want to talk about in-game simulations and uh, situations you could go back to the bottom of the 10th inning of the uh, 1986 world series right and instead of leaving bill buckner in to play first base you make that defensive adjustment that mcnamara had made all season long for buckner whose legs were getting the best of him and uh, see if you can't have the uh, uh, Red Sox win that game, right? Or uh, perhaps um, when we're talking about uh, the uh, third game of the 1951 uh, National League playoff between the uh, Giants and the Dodgers, instead of having Don Newcomb start the ninth inning, you make the pitching change right there and see if the Dodgers can't um, rewrite history and make it so that the Giants don't come back to uh, win that game in dramatic fashion. We could go on and on with this stuff, and if there were something like this out there that was easily customizable and that the community could use, we could use it as a community to create something that no other game would have and that would be absolutely fascinating and that would be a lot of fun to play with. Anyway, this is my idea. I doubt anybody with Imagine Sports care, uh, the uh, company. I don't. I doubt they care at all about what's going on. I doubt anybody's going to watch this. If you are watching this, Dane, hi, you know, whatever, you should use this as an idea to try to get the game revitalized and to try to get people interested in it again. We need more scenarios like this. I think this could save Diamond Mine Baseball. In fact, I think this could save the whole industry. Um, and I don't think that OTP is going to do it. So if you have interest in maybe making your own game to compete with these, you might want to pay attention to this one. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Talk to you later. Bye.